I'm a, I'm Kyle. I'm 19 years old. I'm a college student. Uh, I'm from a nice town, and I'm an addict and an alcoholic. Um, so about me, I was asked to do this as a public service announcement. I'm trying to service the public as best as I could right now. Uh, basically, um, I'm an alcoholic and I'm a drug addict. And, uh, you know, me being my age and my, uh, upbringing and like my, my family and where I grew up does not merit your typical drug addict, alcoholic. Um, and that's all part of the stigma of drug addicts and alcoholics. When I was young, I thought an alcoholic was the dude in the trench coat who lived under the bridge. Um, that's not true. I was, I started, um, like a normal, normal kid. Um, I was 13 years old. I started smoking weed. Um, it was really innocent at first, but it, it progressed, uh, because that's what addiction is. It's a progressive illness that, you know, it snowballs and it gets worse and worse and worse. I started when I was 13 and I got sober when I was 17. I started smoking weed when I was 13 and I ended with a needle in my arm. The alcoholic addict as perceived by uh, society is a skewed image where it, it shows a very small percentage of what we actually are. Yeah, I'm not an anti-weed guy. I'm not an anti-alcohol guy. I'm just a guy that doesn't do drugs or drink anymore and that's okay. Um, I had a very long road of recovery where my family had to intervene and I had to be removed from society basically. Um, it happened on Christmas actually where uh, the judge, my family brought me to court and the judge deemed me unsafe to be in society. Drug addiction in suburban neighborhoods is often overlooked and swept under the rug. It's it's a very deliberate thing that they do, where it's it's consi it's normalized and desensitized to the point where it's okay to these to an extent. Basically, the end. I ended up getting sober. I went to a place in South Boston called the Cushing House, where I was encountered with um, a certain program that helps treat my addiction which is a threefold illness and that's what it is addiction is a disease period we got to start looking at it like that because if we criminalize addiction it's only going to hurt people and it's not going to help anybody and what we need to do is help people it's a threefold illness that affects the mind body and spirit uh, i have a mental obsession a physical compulsion a spiritual abnormality that makes me different than other people when i put a, a, a drug or not i like drink into my system. Um, it it's like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing.